He swaps his pocket money for a diet pill. He trades away his glowing health to be ill. In a contract, society just sold its fake beauty for all flesh, a thin life, a fast death. He's 15 years old, desires the girl of his dreams. Only problem is the boy suffers low self-esteem. Sports magazines, toned athletes and pin-thin celebs. Possessed by image, he longs to look like them. And the world forgets that this illness can victimise men. Just as vulnerable as women to stare into glass and despise the reflection that screams, your stomach's too chunky in size. He makes a pact with the mirror, says next time I check in, I'll be thinner. And so the demon implants and he skips the first dinner. Four months on, in this time, the vicious battles raged on, harder than ever before. The internet, it promotes to starve even more. He finds an article titled The Ice Cube Diet. Feed on 30 a day to win the Get Thin Riot. He pulls the measuring tape in a little tighter and wishes the scales would show his lighter. They do. And rooted deep inside, he knows this is true. But his destitute of vision results in division as the Satan, sleeping in the tunnel of his soul, tricks what's left of innocence into thinking he should sacrifice another stone. His symptoms, they splash clear on the surface. As disorder domineers, it prevails. But the signs are buried by gender, cause anorexia's not suspected in males. His mother thinks nothing of his refusal when she offers to cook. And his teacher falls blind to the calorie count scribbled in the back of his book. As he glides his fingers across his body, they graze on a newly shaped sharp hip bone. Havoc's wrecked on the heart, muscles frozen to stone. Nothing works. His frame fails with every breath he takes. Alone on his bedroom floor, his hearse, there is no escape. It's a sad tragic story for the comic book boy who once had a hero in superman wanted to be as giant as the hulk as muscly as batman but in the end he even saw his role models as too fat media misconduct annihilates imagination of characters in exchange for topless models airbrushed in vanity but not like the superheroes who represent saviors of society media you simply destroy our humanity